I remember being in my grandma's kitchen, tugging at her apron, asking for just a little taste of whatever she was cooking. Granny, may I lick the spoon? Is the cake done yet? Now it's my kitchen, my children and grandchildren, and even my husband tugging at my apron for just a little taste of whatever I'm cooking. Hello, I'm Coco. Now come on into my kitchen where every batch is made from scratch. Good evening, welcome. Welcome to Cooking with Coco where every batch is made from scratch. How is everybody doing? I pray that you have had a fantastic blessed week. We have another good one for you guys. Guess what we're having? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. One of my absolute favorites. I'm going to prepare a seared salmon with shallots, spinach, artichoke hearts, delicious sun-dried tomatoes. I'm going to deglaze this dish with a glass of white wine. I won't be drinking. I'll be cooking. <laughs> <laughs> This will be accompanied by a yummy broccoli cheese rice casserole and some delicious seasonal vegetables. For dessert, we're having a scrumptious butterfinger cake. Y'all get ready, get ready, get ready. I hope you're hungry. Get your list ready because this is one that you definitely want to cook. Okay, great for Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yes, <laughs> all of that in a bag. Okay, we're going to open up with a word of prayer, guys, and we're going to get started. Uh, dear God, we come thanking you for another amazing week, God. Lord, we thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy, God. Lord, we thank you for your protection and your guidance all week long, Lord. Lord, we thank you for our viewers and we pray and ask that. You bless them in a special way, God. Bless their homes, bless their jobs, bless their children, God. Bless them coming and bless them going, God. And we ask all of this in your darling son, Jesus, God. We ask you to bless the food that we're about to prepare. And though we ask that it be a nourishment for our bodies, we ask all of these things in your precious darling son, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, we're going to get started with this yummy broccoli rice cheese casserole oh y'all this is one of my absolute favorites i have not fixed this in probably 10 years and so when i was coming up trying to decide what i was going to fix this week i said okay we're going to do the salmon and so i said what what can i fix it and it just popped up yummy velvety broccoli cheese rice casserole guess what this is the ingredient is that we're going to put in this casserole you need one 16 ounce frozen bag of broccoli. You need one cup of yellow onion, one cup of milk, one pound of Velveeta cheese, three cups of cooked rice, white rice cooked, or you can use brown rice. I've used the brown rice as well. You need a half a teaspoon of black pepper and one 10 ounce can of cream of celery soup. Okay, we're also going to fix this delicious salmon. And the uh, ingredients for that, I want to go over that with you. In the meanwhile, I'm going to turn my fire on back here and get this uh, skillet hot back here for the seared salmon. Of course, you need salmon. So um, get you uh, anywhere from six to eight uh, center cut skinless salmon fillets. You can have your butcher take that skin off the bottom of it if you like. You need two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of kosher salt, two tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of oregano chopped, one cup of artichoke hearts, two shallots sliced, diced, three-fourths cup of chopped sun-dried tomatoes, and a half a cup of dry white wine, and two cups of spinach. That's for the salmon dish. Okay. So let's get started with this um, amazing broccoli rice cheese casserole. Okay, my skillet back here is hot. I'm gonna put a half a stick of butter in this pot back here. 
I've already cooked my rice, and guys, again, you can use brown rice as well, and it's delicious that way as well. I'm gonna put my onions in, along with my butter. I'm just gonna let those cook until they're just a nice translucent color. Okay, stir that nicely. My rice has already been cooked. So it's been cooked and drained. So we want that to saute real nicely, okay? In the meanwhile, I will get started with my salmon. I've already seasoned my salmon. It's been in the refrigerator for a few, a uh, couple hours. I'm using my favorite utensil. <laughs> I love my electric skillet. It comes in handy. Yes. And so what the salmon, we're going to put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Let that get nice and hot. Okay. And Cassie Johnson is watching. She was one of our winners uh, last week for another edition, Cooking with Coco edition. Uh, so congratulations, Cassie. Uh, Bernice Hill is watching. My girlfriend, Bertha Jones, is watching. Thank you, ladies. What are y'all having for dinner tonight? Okay. Let this get nice and hot here. The H's are watching, uh, Pastor Akins is watching. Those are my supporters there. I mean, they help me keep this cooking with cocoa going. Yes, oh, the onions are smelling well. Y'all better try this one, I promise you. This is a good one, okay? Great, the onions are turning nice and brown. So I'm gonna get this olive oil nice and hot. Guys, um, salmon does not take a long time at all, at all. You don't wanna overcook your salmon. Okay, when that gets nice and hot, we're gonna put those salmon pieces in there. Okay, that there. I have my oven preheating on 350 degrees. This is my salmon here, nice and seasoned. And if you have seasoning that you like on your salmon, feel free to make it your own. Um, I've used uh, one of a special season that I really, really like. I was sharing with uh, actually I was sharing with Brandon. Um, <laughs> yes, but it's it's called salmon rub, and it really gives um, salmon a great taste. Um, this recipe does not add, ask for that, uh, but it's just one that I really like, and I add that on my own. My mom is watching, and Sister Atkins is watching. Shantae Frazier is watching. Crystal Johnson is watching. Hello, ladies. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that this is one that you would want to try. Crystal okay, Johnson these onions. And, and, I'm sorry? Crystal Johnson's in, in uh, Nashville. Yeah, Crystal Johnson's in Nashville. John uh, Dale Atkins is in Houston. And, and who's in Houston? John Dale Atkins. Chantel, was that Chantel? Oh, my daughter-in-law. Okay. <laughs> and Crystal gave me some great advice all the way from Nashville. And I got with my uh, producers and directors this afternoon, and they loved the idea. They were actually working that way toward that. She gave some great suggestions on making cooking with cocoa even that much better. Um, oh, yeah. And um, on... Um, with this broccoli cheese casserole, guys, I've already cooked, drained my broccoli, okay? So this is already cooked. The rice is already cooked. My onions are nice and translucent now. So what you do next is you take your rice that's already been cooked, okay? I'm going to put that over here in this pot. Yeah, it's just, it's really easy greasy. Mix those onions in there really, really well. Guys, this is one also that you can freeze uh, for later. Okay, then it asks for one cup. What are they, they, they cutting up back there, y'all. Uh-huh, but anyway, now we're gonna put our milk over in our uh, rice. We're gonna put our cream of celery in there as well. How much? I gave him the ingredients of 
earlier, but that is um, one can of cream of celery soup. You can also use cream of mushroom. My mom used to cook this for us years ago. I don't know if she remembers the last time that she fixed it, uh, but we always loved it. Very, very tasty. Then I'm gonna pour over my broccoli over in here as well. Gonna stir that nicely. And then we're going to take our Velveeta cheese and it asks for one pound. And I've just pre-sliced it. I'm just gonna put it over in this pot as well. I'm gonna add a little pepper. I'm gonna um, spray my casserole dish, guys. And then I'm gonna put that in the oven. It'll take maybe, because everything really is, is done. It'll take about 20 minutes, okay? Give or take a few. Add just a little pepper, black pepper to this. Look, Kimberly Lewis is watching. Hello, Vernice Hill is eating uh, cod, Russell sprout, and mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, that sounds wonderful. What did I say? Mashed. Mashed cauliflower. Oh yeah. Oh, Miss Hill, you're gonna have to share that one with me. I bet that's pretty good. I let my oil get a little too hot, so I need to let it cool down just a little, guys. Stir this nicely. Oh yeah, it's doing it. <laughs> and you just stir this nicely. Now, you want to add a little salt to this? You can do so. The reason I did not is because the cream of celery, it, it has quite a bit of sodium in it. I like the pepper that, um, that I put in there, okay? So, this is my casserole dish. My oven, again, is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm just spraying this so that it doesn't stick, okay? This has cooled down some. I'm gonna take some of my salmon pieces. And guys, salmon does not take long at all. So we're just gonna <clears throat> sear this nicely. Like so. Delicious, delicious, delicious. My, my girlfriend, uh, La Kimberly Lewis, is a, she doesn't eat meat, but she will eat salmon. So Kim, this is one that you can try. This will be a good one. See what I'm doing, guys? Yeah. I almost could get all of these in here. Uh, Pastor Aikens thought that I was, didn't have enough room. But I do. So this is... <laughs> yeah. Again, salmon does not take a very long time. I am going to let that sear nicely. We do not want to turn that over until it has seared nicely. Okay? Yeah, just giving it some space here. Giving it this little room. What else are you guys doing? What are y'all having? Bertha uh, Jones is eating fish tacos with, with Coco's famous coleslaw. Thank you, Bertha. I bet it's delicious, girl. Yeah, that's why I mess you up on it. <laughs> yes. Brandon cooked. 
cooks this for her, and she loves it. So I'm not going to compare with her husband, but I hope she likes it. Uh, Latrice Landers is watching. Latrice, how are you doing? She was in the hospital. She's home now. I hope you're doing well. We were praying for you, and we will continue to pray for you. Kanisha Trailer is watching. Mother H is watching. Hello. And Mita said she's on her way. Come on, girl. You better come get her plate. <laughs> All right. So, this has done what it has done, y'all. This is going to be so good. Okay, now, this is what it looks like, guys. Now, I'm just going to put it over in the casserole dish. And it's, it's really done. We just want it to set just a little bit. This is absolutely delicious with fish, guys with this salmon dish, okay? Delicious, I don't wanna leave a drop in here. If I do, guess who will get it? You're right, half stages. <laughs> yes, okay. Ooh wee. Y'all better come on and cook me, Coco. This is a good one. My oven is telling me that it's ready. It's hot, it has met the temperature. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay, oven. I hear you. And just gonna clean it up just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven. Maybe about 15 minutes or so. Now we're gonna get I'm, I want you to see what this These are just fresh seasonal vegetables. We have broccoli, carrots, onions, cauliflower. Okay, now, this is been cooking what for just a few minutes. We wanted to, oh yeah, y'all better come on now. Cook with cocoa. Yes, it is nicely seared. Smells divine. Oh yeah. Y'all come on and cook with cocoa. I'm gonna show you what it's looking like, okay? Oh yes. Pretty food. Yes, pretty food. <laughs> yes. Okay, Queenie Griffin said, go, girl. Yes, ma'am. Come on, go with me. Go with me, Queenie. Go with me. <laughs> this is going to be a fantastic meal. Y'all get in the kitchen. Cook for your family. Come on now. Y'all can do this. Uh, Misty Carol, my girl, Misty is watching. Hi, Misty. Uh, Brother Bo uh, Roy Bond is watching, and Linda Paxton Easter is watching. Hello, good people. Thank you guys for joining me this evening. This is a good one. You're going to want to fix this for sure. It's a good one. Yes, it is. Okay. We're going to move on to the next, which is these amazing vegetables. Okay? Now, for the vegetables, all we need is a half a stick of butter, okay? Now, this is the time that you just make this yours, okay? Whatever vegetables you like. If you don't like the broccoli or cauliflower, whatever you like, it, whether it be corn, um, chickpeas, green beans, whatever you like, you make it your own, okay? So now, I have my butter back here melting. I, again, I have a half a stick of butter. And then I'm going to put my vegetables over in this dish, okay? You want your vegetables to be very, um, well, have a little crisp. You don't want them soggy. You know, not talk about having vegetables soggy. You want, you want them to have a little crisp. You want to boil all of the flavor out, if you will, okay? So my fish is doing what it's doing. I'm going to take my tray. Now back here, I'm going to add a little sea salt, a little black pepper, you know I talk about that delicious accent. Honey, can you pass me that accent over there? It brings an amazing flavor to your vegetables, any meats, and you just need a little tad of it, okay? 
like so. We want to take and just mix that like so. I'm going to put the lid on and just let it just kind of saute. I've also added some fresh onions to this dish. Delicious with fish. Put my lid on and just let that saute nicely on my fish. I'm going to turn it down some. And I'm going to take this out while I just going to, I'm just going to take it out and let it rest a minute while I add all the other ingredients. Okay? Y'all, this is a good one. I promise you, you want to try this one. Okay? Uh, Linda, Linda Payne is watching. Hi! How are you doing, Linda? And tell Brother Curtis we said hello. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, my cousin Sharon Banks is watching, and Sister Latonya Hill is watching. Cynthia Martin said, I finally got to, I finally got you, Coco. All right, I hope you enjoyed the show, Cynthia. This is one you want to try. If you guys like this, I sure would appreciate it. If you like it, if you share it, move over to my Facebook page, my YouTube page, and subscribe if you have not. Please do so. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I love each one of you all. You make my show just do what it do. So thank you. Now, I've removed my salmon. Now, what I want to do now, I'm sorry. I need some butter. You want to add that second tablespoon of butter to um, this dish. Thank you. want that to melt. And once that melts, okay, y'all better come on home and cook with cocoa. All that goodness, you just kind of loosen it up with that butter, okay? Let that melt like so. And then we want to add just a little bit more of olive oil. A tablespoon, okay? Yes. Queenie asked, uh, where do you shop for your pots and utensils? You know what? A little bit of everywhere. Uh, I shop online on Amazon. I shop um, at the, which, what was the one, honey? Oh, TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx. Every now and then, they will have some of the best utensils. Um, so just wherever I find something that I like, Queenie, I'm not hooked up on name brands. If, I, if it's a good skillet and it came from Walmart, but got something moving forward, I am praying to God to um, help me on another adventure. I'm thinking about creating my very own pots and pans because they're so important in the kitchen. I'm using everybody else's. Why not use your own? I would love to do that. So I've been praying about that, and we just never know what God has planned. Now, so I've added the tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of butter. Now we want to add about a tablespoon of oregano. Mix all that goodness up like so. I'm going to turn it down so because we don't want it to burn. Guys, this is a good one. I promise you, you want to try this. Yes. Now. We want to add our artichoke hearts. A lot of people don't like artichokes. It's a vegetable, but it's good, and it's good for you. And it is divine in this meal. It asks for one cup. If you like it, like it, like it, then you just add more, more, more. So it's, um, I have some guests who just walked in the house. They're in the studio. What's going on? Y'all can say hey. 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 <laughs> Now, we've added our artichoke hearts. Now we want to add our shallots. What are, cha what are shallots? Um, shallots are onions. They're little baby onions, little purple onions. And they are sweet. They add so much flavor. Um, one of my directors said, so Stephanie, what are, what are shallots? They're onions. They're sweeter and they're little bitty. And you almost want to just let them keep growing up, you know? <laughs> So I just said, oh, y'all, the smell. 
The smell is so, so good. Oh, goodness. Now, we want that. Now we want to add our sun-dried tomato. You talking about. And this, they asked for one cup of this recipe as well. Okay. Mix all that goodness. Okay, Carl Hyde is watching. He said, when is the TV show? Man, come on now. You, you just done spoke something. Come on. Come on, pray with me, brother. Come on, pray with me, Carl. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> I'm working really hard. I'm meeting with people and talking to different people. You just never know. We don't know what God's got. Okay? Now, we want to turn this up just a little bit. So we have our artichoke hearts. We have our sun-dried tomatoes. We have our uh, shallots. They're nice and tender and glazed well. Now we want to deglaze that. So we're going to take a, should I take a little step first? Let me see. <laughs> it's on, y'all. One cup. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> One cup there. We're just going to kind of deglaze that. Oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Can I say this? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm having a little fun, y'all. Come on. That's what it's all about. So we, we deglazed that. Okay. Mary Wynn is watching, and my girl Lisa McClellan is, is watching. Hello, ladies. Thank you so much for joining Cooking with Coco. Now, this has asked for two cups of spinach. I'm using a little bit more for the simple fact I have a few more guests. And you know, spinach, it just welts up. And so it's almost like you don't have any. So I'm adding a little bit more than usual. It did ask for one 10 ounce bag. So this is actually one 10 ounce bag with just a little bit more. <laughs> so, oh, yes, it'll be, it'll be gone in a minute, Miss Stacy. He's looking like, what are you doing? <laughs> so there, okay, almost done, guys. What is my, um, my stir fry over here? Yes, and it's ready. And guys, all I did, I have my cauliflower, my carrots, I have my onions, my butter, the seasonings that whatever seasonings you like. So cauliflower, onions, <coughs> carrots, broccoli. Yes. Just do what you do. Okay, Charles Booth is watching and said, everything sounds great. Thank you, brother. I hope that it's going to be a good one. And actually, you know what? Brother Boo, this is my first time fixing this particular one. Now, I love salmon, uh, but all this goodness that I've added to these sun-dried tomatoes and the uh, artichokes, oh my goodness, it's the only popping. I promise you. Y'all try this one, okay? Go on and cook it. Cook it for a Sunday dinner. Uh, share. Let me see what you're doing. Yes. Oh my. 
Y'all, this is going to be a good one. So this is what we're having tonight. Yes, okay. <clears throat> Did you catch my Saturday show special? I cooked my grandmother's biscuits. Who, who is that? You. Oh, I'm talking. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> okay, all right. It, I, I'm sorry. It's a question that my directors are asking me to ask the audience, <laughs> and I thought it was a question for me. <laughs> okay, anyway, question. Did you guys catch my show early Saturday morning? It was my grandmother's birthday, and she would cook these delicious homemade buttermilk biscuits for us. And so I wanted to just represent her on that day. These, she has passed. She's gone on to glory. But she has left her children, I'm telling you, some two, actually, two pen cookbooks. She taught us how to cook out of love and not out of demand. And so that's what I do on Friday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> whenever I cook. I don't cook out of demand. I absolutely love to cook. And so I cook for my family and friends out of love. And so what I'm doing now is just um, sprinkling a little uh, of oregano on the fish. This is actually ready. I want to put the lid on it so that it will kind of absorb some of that fluid. Okay? So guys, we have these delicious vegetables. Oh my goodness. We have our broccoli cheese casserole. Air Gray said he can smell it from the garage. Man, hey! That's all right. <laughs> that's a, I guess that's a compliment, Eric. <laughs> that's a long way, right? It's a good one, brother. It is a good one. You have to come down and, and break bread with us one Friday night, Eric. That's an old friend, old co-worker. We used to work together at um, Little Rock Hematology Oncology. We used to have so much fun there. And it was a joy working with you, Mr. Ray. So, thank you. Can you hand me the dessert? Ah. Okay. Thank you. Guys, I think this is, this has been a nice, quick show. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Oh my goodness. These vegetables, guys, are cooking nicely. We have just a few minutes for the, um, Broccoli cheese, how long has it been in there, sir? 17 minutes. 17 minutes, okay. I really wanted the cameras to take a great look at this so that they could see this amazing dish. Wow, that's looking really good. Do we need to, okay, because we're gonna, um, I'm going to serve this meal. We have some guests in the house tonight, and I hope that they love this dish. Okay. All right. We actually needed to... You got it? You got that delicious... Oh, my. This is... Delicious. Actually, I want to actually I want to keep it in there because um, when they pick it up, they'll they'll be able to pick up the sun-dried tomatoes and the spinach and all that good stuff. So, um, what I'm gonna do? Mm -hmm. Did you get that? Should I put my food? Guys, we are going, 
we are winding down. I'm going to plate up some of this goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Can you see it, sis? Can you see that? Can you see these delicious sauteed vegetables? A wonderful, scrumptious peanut butter butterfinger. No, not peanut butter, butterfinger cake. <laughs> That's what that is. Okay? And I need a towel so that I can get this out of the oven. Thank you, sir. Okay. Guys, this is dinner tonight. We have, oh yes, oh yes, oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna plate some of this goodness up so you can see, 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 see. Guys, thank you all so much for joining Cooking with Coco. I truly, truly appreciate it. I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for sharing. I thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do so. Just go to that. YouTube channel. It'll show you what to do. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this, a piece of salmon with some of that sun, with those sun-dried tomatoes and those artichokes. I love artichokes. Do y'all like them? They're good. They're good for you. Okay, then we're gonna take some of these amazing vegetables. We have carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower. And then, oh my goodness. Don't forget about this broccoli, cheese, casserole. Y'all better ask somebody, baby, yes. Look at here, look at here. And then I have some, okay. And that Coon is watching, hello, Sister Coon. And Natasha Scott, Phyllis Dendy, hello, everybody. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I have some bruschetta bread back here that I'm gonna put a little pesto on. Y'all, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you. Let me show you how we do this. We want to take, do a test test. So we want to love this broccoli cheese. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all better ask somebody, baby, a little bit of salmon that is cooked to perfection. Five little simple minutes. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Y'all, let me make him want to dance. Oh. This is dinner tonight at the Aiken Town. We have guests. We have loved ones. We appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much. Love each one of you. And I'm going to cut into this. I'll show you, and I'll post that later. This is that Butterfinger cake. Mm. Delicious, guys. Love y'all. Until next Friday. Mm.